All right, everybody. Hello, hello again, and thank you all for joining me for my second ever YouTube live sale. Before I jump into everything that I want to share with you all, I've got a couple of things that I thought I would share with you. Item items that are not for sale, but are something that I keep in my collection. Remember Misty sold that genie bottle or the one that looked like I Dream of Genie? Well, this is what the bottle looks like. It's got like a smoky gray color. I got this at a thrift store a while back and they had a bunch of these Jim Beam decanter bottles. And this was the only one I wanted. Hello everybody, thanks for coming on. I'm just showing off this genie bottle. I'll never ever sell this because I love it so much. And then this piece, which you guys have seen in the title, um, it's the art glass share. I got this at an antique shop a while ago and it's, um, I think the style of this is called handkerchief glass. And I had to put a piece of tape over where the etching of it, of the maker was. I got this for 12 bucks. Hi, Southern Mermaid. Hi, Tri-State Picker Mom. Hi, D. Thank you all for coming in. Hopefully, it'll show up on camera. It's right there. It says Milkov. And somebody told me when I hauled this for the first time that this could be by uh, the artist Stefan Milkov, who was born in the Czech Republic in the mid-50s. He would have done art for, I think, maybe like the 70s to the 80s. I believe this piece is 1970s judging by the color of it. I think it's pretty cool. I did try reaching out to him on Facebook. I went through the trouble of going through Google Translate, typing a whole letter in English and translate it into the language that they speak there. And that was probably over a year ago and I haven't heard anything since. So maybe this isn't his artwork, but who knows? I Right now, I'm not looking to sell it just because I like it and I don't know what it would bring because I don't know if that's truly his work or not. But yeah. So let me go ahead and before I start showing things, uh, I'm gonna just go over the rules if you're new. I, like I said, I'm a little bit more prepared this time than I was the last time I did this. I'm a little bit more calm, cool and collective and I just feel a little bit more organized than I did my first sale. So if you all are new here first, my name is Vintage Vinny. I am on Instagram and I sell and buy pretty much anything I can make a dollar on. My haul videos that you see on my channel are mainly focused on vintage items. I do buy and sell new and used, and like I mentioned, but my heart is set in the vintage world. Thanks, Dad, and thank you, Nana Romano, for that one. So anyway, hi, Joanne. So rules for this live sale are like any of the other ones. So it is first come, first serve. Misty is going to be keeping track for me again. So Misty, thank you for that. I greatly appreciate it. So what you're going to do is you're going to comment the number of the item that you want to purchase in the live chat. If an item did not sell and I don't take as long of a time to go through the stuff that I have, I will recap and... Hopefully it'll sell the next time. So when you all send me your information through my email, which is skullking95680 at yahoo.com, it is in the description box below. I will need you to send me the email that I am able to send you your PayPal invoice in along with your shipping address. So that way I know where to send you your stuff. And the last thing that I want you all to remember is that you need to be mindful of where you are located in the US. I'm here on the East Coast in Maryland. So if you live in California or Texas or Canada, it's not gonna be cheap to ship. Unfortunately, that's just how it is. Hi, Michael Todd, thanks for coming in. Elderly Poodle, thank you all for stopping in. Oh gosh, yes, Misty, I was watching uh, Jeffrey's uh, live sale yesterday and oh my gosh people would just not stop it was ridiculous <laughs> and then I felt bad because Stephanie's live show kept cutting out because of the wind thankfully it's not windy here but we did get snow 
Oh, thank you for stopping in, Rachel. Okay, so I'm going to start off with, I don't even know. And yes, that's also one thing. Our internets are different, so, or at least our speed of our internet are different. So just be mindful of that. We're going to go by what we see in the chat. If we have to review it, we will go ahead and do so. So I have some paper products I'd like to start off with. Take the ticket off of here. Just want to make sure. <laughs> Laura, I read those comments. That was really funny. I mean, I don't blame you. There were over 300 people on that live chat. That was ridiculous. Anyway, so the first item I'd like to start off with are some vintage pinup arcade cards. They are not in the best shape, but they are pretty cool. These would look great in a flower frog if you wanted to just display them. This one says help wanted. This one, I can't remember the name of this one, but it's got six different images on it. And then this one is in the worst shape of them all because it's got that big old rip right there. Over time, when I would buy lots of these online, I would wait to get a bunch of them and then make my own lot, but I haven't bought a lot of them in recent times, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sell these. Just the three of them together. It's going to be $6 and it is number 32, so that makes them $2 a piece. Number 32 is $6. <laughs> Elderly poodle. <laughs> okay. So let me show you all something that I featured in my last sale. So this, it's that nautical lamp, the wooden nautical lamp. The only thing that is wrong is there's a little hole in the captain's mouth where I guess there would be a pipe or maybe a cigar or something like that. I'll show you all the bottom and then I'll show you all the price. So this is just Mark made in the US. I did have it originally for 15. I am down to 10 to get rid of it. It is number 93 and number 93 is now been reduced to $10. Oh, it's Trusty Huckster Mercantile in here. Thanks for stopping by if you are. Hi, Corey. Okay. So another thing that you saw in my last sale that did not sell was this avocado green trinket box, which I think is from the 60s or 70s. And overall, it's in really good shape. I didn't see any cracks or chips in the ceramic itself. It does have a stamp for Japan on the bottom. It just says made in Japan. It's a red sticker. I think it's foil. I think that indicates what year it was made and it was produced. So this, instead of $8 this time, it is $5, number 16. Number 16 is $5. Vanna White it. Ooh. Did the bearded fish man dude make you think of me? I don't know. <laughs> uh, what else do we want to show? Oh, does anybody have... Little tabby cat. I thought this was really, really cute. He does have, let me take the tag off. It's going to faintly be on there, but in the corner, do you guys see it says made in Japan? No cracks or chips to him. There is some light damage due to age. Like on the side, there's a little bit of scuffing there. I don't see any chips or anything like that. There is some paint loss on the back of his head there. But he is really, really cute. And anybody who likes their cats would absolutely love this. So this is going to be $10, number 58. Number 58 for this cute little cat statue is $10. So I was just downstairs about an hour ago. I had to grab a few more things for the sale and I forgot that I had this and I saw it on top of my donation bag. And I thought, why don't I give this a go and try to sell it here? So this is, I think I found this at one of my thrift stores in town. Unfortunately, I do not have the quilt that goes along with this. 
But I do like the picture of the lady. I would definitely say this is turn of the century, especially by the way that she is dressed. On the back of the frame, it says picture quilt and this frame were hung in July of 1986. If you are into like the old school sewing stuff, like maybe some primitive, like the old wooden spools or things like that, I thought this would be a great little addition to add to that since this lady was a seamstress, I assume. So this picture is $5 and it is number 26. Number 26 is $5. All right, so the next item I'm going to share with you all I found, I think it was at one of the thrift stores in town. I've never seen these before. They're by the company Liz Claiborne, so I know that's a Penny's brand, I believe. It's the set of candles, and they smell like the different perfumes that the company has issued. So we've got Lucky You, and that's a Lucky brand um, scent, and then we've got Curve, uh, we've got Mambo, and then we have the Liz Claiborne scent Bora Bora. I've had these up online for a while and nobody's bought them, so I am going to be asking $12, number 63. Number 63 is $12, shown to you all again. Unburned, never been used, so that's $3 a candle. That's a really good price, I think. All right, so I have a little bit of jewelry, not anything too fancy or special, but again, something else that I haven't had a chance to sell because I, I bought them originally thinking they would be Bakelite, but they're not. So I've got a set of these like bracelets or what do you call these bangles? I've got a set of eight of them here. I'll show them all <laughs> to you all individually. So this one has, I don't know if it's gonna show in here or not, but it has a Hong Kong sticker on it. I like this one, because this one kind of looks mid-century with the gold speckle on it. So we've got that one. We've got this thin pink one. Is that a crack? Or no, that's just the seal from the factory, I guess, right there. So we got that. We've got this white one. Got a thicker white one. This one looks very 80s to me because with all the different neon colors and the splash of like blue and everything. This almost looks like a Wildberry Pop-Tart. Just the color because the, gla the glaze on them looks like that. And then we've got this one which is I think plastic but it's made to look like wood. That one. And then we've got like this fun, festive, like flamingo pink melon one. And this one's got some markings in it. I don't know what they are. I've tried getting them out and I just have had no luck. So this, I wrote it on the bag here because I didn't throw them in a, throw them in a Ziploc bag. So this lot here of eight bracelets is $10, number 43. Number 43 is $10. If you want to know what that is individually, I think that's $1.25 a bracelet. I think somebody is going to have some fun with this. I'll show them to you all again. <laughs> or at least attempt to. Oh, Mignon, I meant to ask you. Did you buy that Bicentennial doll from Krej Company? The one that's dressed like the 1776 girl. I can't remember. I think somebody either claimed it, you claimed it, or somebody wanted it. I don't remember. So we're going to take a little trip back to 1968. I bought these a while ago, and I don't think they're really worth my time to put on eBay, so I'm selling them here. I found this really cool new old stock pack of Blue Angels. They look like fighter jet planes. Get that to focus for you all. It says made in Hong Kong circa 1968. 
and it is made by Fleetwood Toys Inc. in New York. Okay, because I thought you had claimed it, or I don't know. We, we got a little confused there. So I'm selling this new old stock package toy for $7, number 31. Number 31 is $7. Show them to you all again. Very cool, but as you can see, the top is ripped. So I've got one, or I got just a couple of pieces of Christmas, I should say. I had the mug that matched this, but unfortunately it broke. It's a Lefton Christmas tree shaped letter holder. It's got holly leaves and a cardinal, I think. I think that's a cardinal. And it does have the Lefton stamp on the bottom there. And then it's also got the foil label Lefton Japan. This is going to be $4 and it is number 32. Number 32 is going to be $4. I'll show it to you all again. Oop, didn't like that sound very much. Okay. So do any of you all have kids who have a Nintendo DS or a Nintendo 3DS? Because I have one game that I bought my brother for Christmas and I went to return it to the seller and they were not accepting returns. So I understand that. I mean, I've not taken returns myself for certain issues. So he, I think he had a DS and he sold all of his games at one point to buy the Xbox console that he has. So I went and bought him a bunch of the games that we used to play when we were little and I didn't realize that he had kept his Mario Kart DS game and the seller just would not refund the money. So I was okay with that. It does come with the instruction booklet and the game itself. And I think I went ahead and deleted all of the data on there. So if you wanted to start the game over, you can. So this game is going to be $10 and it is number 82. Number 82 is going to be $10. Oh, Tam, I didn't see you were here. I haven't talked to you in forever. So here is the game again, Mario Kart DS. I still have it and I have fun with it. I love that game. All right, so let's get another fun piece out. Oops. All right, so this is really, really cool. I bought this a while ago at one of the vendor malls that's in town. It's a tin litho toy in the shape of an old car. It is made by Trademark Modern Toys in Japan. Focus for you all. There's the mark right there. I think this is probably from the 50s or 60s because the wheels are plastic. I think if it was older, it would have all metal. What's really cool is you pull this little lever right here and the wheels spin, so you can actually play with this on like a hardwood floor or something like that. Now, I do believe that this did have a windshield at one point because there are two holes right there. And the sides are very, very delicate. They're kind of loose from age, I assume. This toy is going to be, let me stick it back on there for you. So this is going to be $15 and it is number 12. Number 12 is going to be $15. Let me show you all the back again. There's the Made in Japan stamp. This would be great just to do, I don't know, if you have a love for the older cars, if you have a display like that. So that was really cool. All right, what else do I want to share? Oh, these are really cool. I've had these for a long time. So these, I think, came from an old hockey game, like tabletop hockey game. So these are just the metal players. They look like that. Let's see if it'll focus. We've got that. Yeah, the steering wheel, that's what it was. I thought it was like a the windshield and the steering wheel, but it still makes for a really cool piece. I'll show you all the price again if you want to claim it. So it is number 12 and it's $15. So 
So we've got, I think there was 10 of them in here. I can't remember exactly how much or how many of them there were. Wish it would focus for me. Yeah, I think there are four of the red players, and then we've also got four of the um, of the. I don't know what these teams are. I am not a sports expert. I just found them and thought somebody would probably want them for the. I don't know if they have a craft that they want to do with these or if they have an old um, tabletop hockey game that they would want to use them for that. So let's throw all those back in the box here. And those are going to be $10, number 28. Number 28 is $10. They would make great magnets. So I picked this up on one of my antiquing adventures a while back. And I this was back way when I was buying stuff that I shouldn't have been. <laughs> well, things I shouldn't have been buying that were not worth my time to even be listing unless I liked it for myself. And that is this really, really nice horseshoe shaped wall pocket with a horse head in the center. I thought it was really cool. It does have a Made in Japan stamp on the bottom. Let me take the tag off first. So here's what it looks like up close. So I thought that was neat. So this has the Japan stamp on it. Let's see if I can get it to focus. I don't think it's going to, but you see it, it's there. No cracks or chips, but there is a lot of crazing on the back as you can see. I think it's rather cool if you like horses or if you own a stable and you like ha um, horsey decor, this would be really cool to hang with all of your kitschy horse stuff. This wall pocket is $8. It is number 99. Number 99 is $8. Is Fatbird Finds here? If you are, hi, and thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. This was in my last video. It's that watering can with the cat on top of it and the floral designs on it. It's got the Yukago, which stands for United China and Glass Company label on the bottom. And I did have it for $8, but I have reduced it down to $5 and this is number 30. So number 30 is going to be $5. Let's show that to you all again, just so you can kind of get a good look at it. Hi, Lorianne. I don't think this has any cracks or chips to it. All right. What do I want to show next? There's so many, there's so much. All right. Again, this was another item that I found in a thrift shop in town. It's a milk glass uh, ashtray. It's from Mariana Lumber Company. Builders, supplies, building contractors. And you can definitely tell this is older because look at that phone number. Just two digits. No cracks or chips. It does have a Made in USA stamp on the bottom. No maker to say who um, issued it. And this is going to be $10, number 18. Number 18 is $10. Yeah, it says phone 34. That, that kind of gives it some age, right? Hi, Laura, Batbird. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, phone 34. Isn't that crazy? It's in good shape, though. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with it. It doesn't sell, I might keep it for myself. So we've got this also from my last sale and it did not move. I'm gonna keep it at the price that I have it at because I still think it's relatively fair. So this is the Ponderosa ashtray. 
I don't know if they are actually still around like the Ponderosa restaurant itself, but I know that Bonanza Steakhouse, which is, I guess, a relative of Ponderosa. Well, Bonanza was the ranch on the show Ponder. No, Ponderosa was the ranch on the show Bonanza. So I guess there's some kind of correlation there with the restaurants. So this is really cool. There aren't any cracks or chip. Actually, I take that back. There's a slight chip on the corner there. Grr. But it's still a relatively cool piece, and that's why I picked it up. So this is going to be $5, and it is number 22. Number 22 is $5. Gotta be careful, I don't wanna damage my goods. So we have another Christmas item. Bought this a while ago. It's a Lennox snowman ornament. It's in the original box, but it's not new. I'll take it out of there so you guys can get a better look at it without that glare. I think he's cute. I think somebody would really like him for Christmas. It'd be better if my camera would focus. That's what he looks like. Alrighty, so this ornament is $8, and it is number 79. Number 79 is $8. Show it to you all again. Right, Joanne, you lucky dog. Hi, Nicole, North Garden. Yeah, you all are lucky if you were able to go out, but... Hey, I mean, it is what it is, right? That's why I'm doing these sales to get rid of more stuff. Okay. All right. So do you all remember this from my last sale? It's that brown poodle, the spaghetti poodle. Overall, in very good shape, but do expect some issues due to age. Oops, showing you the butt. I think the only thing that's really wrong with him is he doesn't have any eyes. So you might have to either put on some googly eyes or you might have to just paint them on. So this is the same price as the last time. It is $15 and it is number 44. I'll let you all look at him again. So 15 or number 44 is $15. All righty. All right, let's get a little bit of a cheaper item in here. So I found this a while ago, and I think I got this out of, in a lot of stuff. It's a, I don't, looks like a girl Snoopy toy from the 80s. Has the um, soft ears, and she has the shoes on. Are the shoes marked the year? I think they are. Let's see if it'll focus for me. And if they don't, I'll just read it to you all what it says. So on the bottom of her shoes, it says 1982 KTC made in Hong Kong. And then it's got a, I guess, a lot number and a, like a weird number. So this, take the tag off. She does have some condition issues because she is older. As you can see, her lips, like one. I don't know if anybody drew on her or what. I will let the new owner take care of cleaning her up. So she is $4 and she is number 85. Number 85 is going to be $4. Okay, this was really cool. Also something that I bought a while ago, like probably over a year ago. It is this no smoking sign that goes on top of your like a desk or something like that, probably sitting on a front desk in a lobby at some hotel or maybe even like an office building. I would say this is probably from the 60s or 70s or possibly the 80s when the um, when that pressed wood look came in. That was in the 60s too, wasn't it? 
it's kind of like a rose gold color in a way, or maybe that's just kind of like a shiny finish on brass. I thought it was kind of cool. That's why I picked it up, but it just has not sold, or at least on eBay it hasn't. So this sign is $15 and it is number eight. Number eight is going to be $15. Let me show that to you all again. It's got a very cool look to it. I've contemplated keeping it, but I mean, we'll see. If somebody wants it, so be it. That means it wasn't meant to be. All right, what else do we got in here? So I found this. This came in a box lot of stuff that I bought a while ago. So this is just a new old stock musical Monica toy. The box is a little messed up, but the image on the packaging is still really, really cool. I'll take the price tag off so you guys can see the whole image. So that was really, really cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't move for a lot. So I'm selling it here and it is $10, number 15. Number 15 is $10. It'd be really cool in a vintage toy display or if you have like a Woolworths Display some I think that's something tarnished treasures wishes to do like have a Woolworths department store display in her house This would probably be really cool. So ten bucks number 15 Right misty if my name were Monica I'd have to have it. Oh Tarnished treasures you're here. Thanks for stopping by All right, oh Oh gosh, I'm losing my mind here. So this is really, really cool. This is, I think it's for a bicycle from the 60s or 70s. And I think you put a battery in here. You open it up, you unscrew it. Oh, D, do you really have a um, an interview on Monday? That's awesome. So this is the inside. And I think you put like a D battery in here. And this part is the where the bulb goes. And that's in there. I put a battery in it, I think, around the time that I got it. And it lit up for a second, but maybe it was just the battery, not the bulb itself. So I don't know. Ooh, that was a really, really bad sound. So this is going to be, oh, let me see if I can find, oh, here it is. Let's see, it's got Hong Kong right there. It's kind of like a light yellow color. Almost looks like cream, maybe on camera. I don't know, like a brownish, but it's definitely like a yellowish color. So this space agey looking thing is $20 and it is number 62. Number 62 for the awesome rocket ship bike light is 20 bucks. That's what I call Wally World D because I go there all the time and that's where the crazy stuff happens. All right. It's got the bulb, Tri-State Picker Mom. I think the, I don't know if the bulb itself is dead and needs to be replaced. Here's the bulb. See? Yep, so the bulb's in there. I think I made a bad battery in there. It was probably like a dollar store battery, so you know those aren't really always the best. So yeah, this is $20, number 62, okay, somebody missed it. 62 is 20 bucks. So I know a lot of us are, or those of us who are jewelry people will recognize this brand. 
And this is a Connoisseur's Ultra Soft Gold Jewelry Polishing Cloth. It's brand new. And that's the best of my knowledge it is. And it's in the original packaging. But as you can see, the packaging itself is not in the best shape. It's been thrown around and it's been ripped and thrown up against other things. And yeah. And this is going to be $4, number 81. Number 81 is $4. Show it again real quick. Hi, Nathaniel. Okay, what else do we got in here? Okay, so this is kind of a like a novelty item kind of a thing. I got this at an antique shop that is no longer in business, unfortunately. Okay, it's a toilet mug. <laughs> Let's just say that. The top of it says, Goodbye, Cruel Worlds. Inside, looks like it has a kid or something like that crawling out of it. On the side of it, it has a poem, and it says, Goodbye, Cruel World. The moon may kiss the stars on high. The stars may kiss the bright blue sky. The dewdrops may kiss the grass, but you, my friend, dot, 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 and we can already tell how that's going to end. So it does have a Japan stamp on the bottom of it. So I would say this is probably like a souvenir or novelty piece from the 60s. Number, oh, sorry, it's $5, number 59. Number 59 is $5. So if you like, I guess this is something crude humorish. I don't know. I just thought it was kind of funny when I found it. And when I found it, it wasn't worth a ton of money. I just decided to go ahead and send it. Okay, Misty claimed that one. Oh, I got some more pinup y type stuff that I want to share with you all. So, again, this is something else that I bought a long time ago and they just didn't sell. These are, I don't know how to describe them. It, they're vintage postcards and they have kind of like suggestive content on them. So, I'm going to show you all 18 that I have. And they're double-sided, so when I got them, that's what I went ahead and did. I just put them in two by two. So this is the first one, and it says, Why don't you drop me a line? I'll bite. The second side has some more, like, sayings on it. This one says, Mary had a bathing suit, dainty, chic, and airy. It never showed the wear a bit, but gosh, how it showed Mary. So uh, in Misty's world, these would be considered saucy postcards. So we've got this one here. Th these two that I'm going to show you are a little controversial, I guess you could say. Oh, that's all right, Katie. Thanks for coming on. So this one, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this one and these next two that I'm going to show you. This one says, you can reduce it to this. I'd like a letter from you. This one is a little bit more crude. This one says, she's getting a little behind in her diet. Yeah, I don't think I like that one very much. This one features a farmer and it says, sure is fine farming country here. So we got that one. And then on the other side, <laughs> again, like I said, these are all kind of crude humor. This one says, uh, inflation is making everything go up around here. This one says, things are looking better up ahead. And on the other side, it says, there's a wonderful view from here. This one says, you'll like it here. We have such lovely things. This one says, I'm really getting into the swing of things here. Yeah, so very suggestive. That's more, don't worry. This one says, there's no excuse for a shortage in your letters. So right. 
And then this one is very, very saucy. This one says, turn out the light. I feel better in the dark. Next set, this one says, I think I'll stay longer. Things are pretty well in shape here. And the one on the back says, money deposited in the right place always draws interest, which is kind of punny, I guess you could say, pun and funny. This one just has a welcome and I do mean you, whoa, image on it. This one on the back says, the old dogs have fun playing around. Here's your chance for a good time. This one says, a hug is energy gone to waste, with waste being spelled W-A-I-S-T. And the last one on the back says, wow, what a welcome I've got for you. Come on out soon. So let me show you the back because they are not double-sided. So you have the one on that side and then you've got like typical standard postcard font on the back on each of those. I didn't want to take all of them out of there because they're pretty much all the same. All right, let me slip that into the sleeve and then I will tell you all the price for each of, or for that whole lot there. So this whole lot of saucy, risque, suggestive postcards, is $20 and it is number 54. That is a dollar and 11 cents each. That is a very good price for these. And if you wanted to sell them in a shop or something like that and you wanted to ask like two or three dollars, you'll make some pretty decent money here. So $20 and our number 54. Okay. This next lot is a little, again, it's con a little controversial for some of you all, but I will explain what happened with me. Okay. And mom, if you're watching, I'm kind of embarrassed. All right. So I have a lot of 1956 Playboy magazines. I originally bought the lot for this one because I really like the image of the um, actress on here. This is Marion Stafford, who was born in, I think it was Houston, Texas. And she died really young. She was only 53 when she died. So this was the issue I was going for. And I have one that has the centerfold and everything like that. Yeah, close your eyes, uh, as Michael Todd puts it. These are mostly for like crafting material. Like if you wanted to tear the pages out, you can because a lot of the pages are missing. We don't have any center folds in here. So they're mainly just for crafty purposes. And then this one I think is really, really cool because you've got like kind of like bridesmaid vibes with this one, or at least I got that when I was looking because you've got pretty beautiful women on the front dressed kind of like they would be going to a wedding. This one kind of gives me wedding vibes and so does this one. Again, these would be just great to like decoupage something or if you wanted to take the pages out and use it as kind of like a backdrop for something that you're framing, that would be really cool. This one I like the cover too because it's a girl just laying out on the, I guess she's in a pool or something like that. And I like that back cover too. I thought that was really cool. Again, these don't have center folds or anything like that. So there really isn't any like nude stuff in these. So they, like I said, they'd just be great to frame for the different times of year. Now this came with something and this is going with the lot. This is a Vargas print. And again, of course, censored. This is from the sixties. The girl reminds me of Natalie Wood from like maybe like the mid to late sixties with that hairstyle or it could be like 1968. And yeah, so I'm including all of that. You're getting all of this for one money the three magazines and the Alberto Vargas magazine uh, page pinup. So we are doing $15 for all of this. So that is number 100, $15 for those four pieces, 100. The tape that I'm using, it's just Scotch contractor tape. It's nothing too special, you can go get it anywhere. So there's the number again, number 50, or it's $15, number 100. So that's a pretty good price too. 
for those four pieces. All right. Okay, so this might be a little bit, maybe this is gonna be a good late Mother's Day gift, I think. I've had this for a while too, and it just hasn't moved. It sold once, the person never paid me. It's a Liz Claiborne um, perfume spray and miniature collection. So you get six bottles of different fragrances here. Uh, it goes from Mambo to Bora Bora to Curve, which are all Penny's brands, I think. Yeah, Angel is the centerfold, right? So all of these appear to be full and never used. The price for this gift set is $25, and it is number 98. The Liz Claiborne Perfumes gift set is $25. I'll show it to you all again. They're all miniature, so I think it's a good deal. All of them appear to be full as I shake it. There's liquid shaking around in there. I don't know how old the set is. It does have a barcode on the back. See? But yeah, 25 bucks for that, number 98. My grandmother used to wear some of Liz Claiborne stuff, I remember. And I think right after she passed, I held on to like a little miniature bottle that she had of Red Door and I can't remember the other stuff. What's that other stuff that Nana used to wear, mom or dad, if you're watching this? It was Red Door and it was, um, I can't remember the other stuff. It was it White Diamonds by Liz Taylor. She wore something. Pam's Eclectic Place, are you wanting number 98? Number 98. If, that, if it's 98, Misty, she's got that. Oh. Don't want to forget about these fun things that I bought a long time ago. So these are really, really cool. And let me take the price tag off before I do it. All right. Bought these a while ago when I went out with Treasured Vintage. These are made by Aladdinware. And it's funny how it's spelled. It's spelled A-L-L-A-D-I-N-W-A-R-E. So it's two white and yellow floral, green and yellow canisters. They are really, really cool. Well, if you're into that kind of 70s, 60s vibe. Now, they're not perfect in terms of like they've got dirt on them. And they'll need to be cleaned up, but the inside doesn't look to be too bad. That's the first one. And then this is the second one. Like I said, the lids are a little bit dirty. And then we've got the other one, which also has a little bit of wear to it, especially around the rim. So these would make a really good kitchen counter thing for springtime, or even if you just like the style of the 60s and 70s. So I am asking $20 for both of them, and that is going to be number 20. Number 20 is $20, and you're getting both of them. You're not getting one for $20. The colors are very bright and colorful. I think somebody will really, really like them. These are really, really fun, and I forgot I completely had them. I had to wrap them back up because I didn't want them to get all messed up. So I'm sure there are some of us who like their chalkware. So I have some really cute ducky chalkware, all in really, really good condition. So this is the first one here. Yeah, there's a little scuffing right down there. But other than that, that one's in really good shape. 
It's a set of three. Here's the second one. I think there's a little mark right up by his eye. And then we've got this one right here. So those are very, very cute. They do not have a mark on them by who made them. Usually they say like Miller Studios or things like that, but I don't see that on any of these. There is some slight chipping on the back here on the beak, but other than that, these little guys are in really, really good shape for their age. They're very cute. It would look great in the bathroom, maybe even a kid's room, nursery. It'd be awesome for that. And they all do have the hooks. I don't know if I showed the backs to all of them. But that one's got the hook. That one's got it too. And this one also does have it. So those three duck chalkware, $15, number 13 for the duckling chalkware. $15, number 13. So that is the number for that. Michael Todd, you should have bought these. They're fun and funky and festive and colorful. So there we go. All right, looks like D got that one. On my way to D. Oh, let me show you the back of that one. It's got that little mark right there too, D. I don't know if I showed that or not. Chippy whippies are okay on some stuff, and cracky wackies are okay on some other things, but some things are good and good shape. <laughs> All right, D, so it looks like you claimed those. So I'll put those back in the box and keep them very well protected, and we'll move on to the next item. All right. All right. Oh. All right, so these are really, really cool. These were something that I picked up at, I think it was a vendor mall. I don't know exactly what they are, but I think they might be rainbow trout. I could be wrong. It's a set of fishy salt and pepper shakers. They look kind of scared, don't you think? They definitely got like a creepy bug eye look to them. So they got the yellow one, and this one is like a pinkish uh, black color. And the only thing that looks to be wrong with them, or maybe that's just how they were made, is they have like a bisky like bottom to them. I think that was probably just how they were made. I could be wrong, though. They are salt and pepper shakers. I don't know if I said that or not. But these would look great in a bathroom or if you want to use them in your kitchen. Your kitchen's like nautical or mid-century theme. These would look great in there. Masking $10 for them. And this is number one. Number one is $10. Hopefully that'll focus. <laughs> they do have attitude, Laura. Here we go. All right, so I'll leave those down there. Okay. So I did try selling this in my last video and it did not sell, but I'm gonna try it again here. It's that bottle of vintage My Fair Lady perfume. If you haven't seen it before, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the box for you. It's practically full, never been it doesn't look like it was ever even touched or even used. I wish it would focus. It did this to me the last time. Curse you, camera. And I always got to get a whiff of it. I don't know why. <coughs> Whoa. I don't remember it being potent the last time. Well, at least I'll be a little bit more calm after that whiff. All right, so let's put that back in the box. All right, so I did have it for 15 originally and I went ahead and marked it down to $10, number 74. So number 74 is now $10 if you are interested. Let me show you the front again, hopefully it'll work. 
Some of them can. I've, you know, what's so weird. I am literally, I don't know what it is. I think vintage Avon smells freaking nasty. But every time I see a bottle and it's got the substance in there or the cologne or whatever, I got to get a whiff of it. I don't understand why. <laughs> Rebecca Nichols, it's actually uh, my fair lady, kind of like the movie with Audrey Hepburn. There we go. Finally, you decide to focus camera. Yeah, I guess I should uh, know better than to smell this stuff. I don't know why. I just, I like to smell this old perfume and cologne. I don't know what it is. I just can't help it. Okay. Oh, this is something that I wanted to try to move. Okay. Yes, Avon is yucky, no matter what kind of old it is. <laughs> This is going to be a little harder to share because it's in an open box. But we're going to go ahead and give it a go. It's just a miscellaneous train lot. This I thought was really, really cool. It's got the shell. I think, what is this, like a shell gas cart? And it does have a made in Western Germany stamp on the bottom of it. There's a bunch of tracks in here and little trains like this. Got that one. I don't think that has any wheels on it. I think that's a coal cart. It's got this, like, this looks like this goes to one of those electric train sets. No mark on it to say who it was made by, but it's in there. This one's really cool. This one's got D and R, G, W. Uh, this one says Varney. Never even heard of that. I know who Jim Varney is, but I've never heard of the train company making that. Oh, this one's cool. This is another one of those starters. It's made by Grotch. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Is my video lagging, guys? I'm sorry. Try refreshing it or uh, I don't know. <laughs> I either refresh it or if it's slow, I would, is it getting bad? Because it doesn't look like it's bad on my end. Let me just try focusing there. Well, there, it's blurry now. All of us are having technological issues. Technologically, did I even talk right? We're all having technological issues. So this is, is it blurry still? Try hitting the um, quality. Um, what do they call that? The, I guess the quality setting of the video, try turning it up to 720. It's not, I don't know if it's blurry on my end. I don't know. Anyway, so this is $20 for that whole lot of train stuff and it's number 55. Let's see if I can make that unblurry. So there we go. So 55 is $20. Fresh it and it's blurry. I'm telling you, technology is great when it works and it sucks when it doesn't. It might be me. I mean, um, let me see if I can fix the quality real quick. Let's see. Now it's super blurry. Yeah, try doing it with seven. Okay, so Audra said it's Still blurry even at 720. Maybe it's my internet connection. I don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't get it. I I really don't. Maybe it is StreamYard. Who knows? Possibly. So back to the train. So it's 20 bucks for number 55. That you get that whole box of miscellaneous train pieces for $20. Hmm. I don't know if it's because my brother is gaming and he's in the next room over, so that does kind of affect our internet. So I apologize for the inconvenience. Okay, so moving right along here. Yeah, that is true. I remember them saying that. All right, so this, if you all remember, was something that was in my last video. It's that Odagiri um, unicorn mirror. It's two pieces. 
So you got one mirror with the other, or with the uh, unicorn on it, and then the one that has the Odagiri mark on it. All right, so overall in really good shape. There are some cosmetic flaws due to age. I would say this is probably from the 70s or 80s when that lacquer was kind of in. So this I did have for $20. I went ahead and marked it down to number 15 or to $15 for number 98 and you're getting both mirrors for that price. It also doesn't help that my laptop is probably a million years old. Once this crisis is over, I am going to be buying a new computer and a new phone, hopefully. Thanks, Mignon. Thank you, everyone, for your support. I should try it with my phone, but I'm a little eerie about it because there are some people who have made comments on some of my videos that I've made in the past where like there's this really obnoxious humming sound, and I know it's there. It just... I mean... I've tried using audio cleaner apps and everything like that, but it just wouldn't, I just stopped caring because I, there's nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. So I'm just working with what I have and hopefully by maybe July or maybe even early August, I'll have a new device, hopefully. Okay, so moving right along here, we've got some, Switch plate covers for the outlets. They're Eagle, so I would assume these are probably from the 1960s or the 1970s when that decor was popular. This one is brass. We've got two that look like wrought iron. Here's the other one. Yeah, my brother's a gamer. I mean, it's what he likes to do. I'm, I, there's nothing I can do, unfortunately. He'll do it late at night and keep me up all night, but he will do it during the day, too. So we got those two, and I don't think these two have the bolts to uh, screw into the wall. So those are fun if you want to just add a little fun. Yep, AJ's Retros and Vintage, these are all Eagles. There are five of them. And they are $10, number 10. So that's basically, actually, yeah, there are five of them. So what is that, $2 a piece? That's pretty fair for all of these, I would say. AJ's Retros and Vintage, claim them. You're getting them for 2 bucks a piece. That is a steal. All right. So these are also railroad themed. They have an MJ Designs tag on them. So I assume that was probably from Michael's before they became that big old craft retailer. Model power road and rail signs, brand new in the packaging, probably for like model trains or like miniatures. It does have a barcode on the back. Let me take the contractor's tape off as best I can. So there's the barcode. So I would say these are probably from the 70s or maybe even the 80s, possibly the 90s. Not exactly sure, but I don't think they make stuff like this anymore. Thank you, Nicole North Garden, for the super chat. Much appreciated. So here's what the bottom looks like. Oh, God, it's not focusing. So it says, made in Hong Kong exclusively for model power in 223 Spears Road in Oakville, Ontario, Canada. There we go. Finally, it decides to focus. So these are going to be $10, number 87. Oh, the plastic is open on the bottom. I forgot to mention that. So yeah, number 87 is going to be 10 bucks for anybody who wants them. Oh good, it's not pixelated now, thank goodness. Show those again. Good, I'm glad to hear that it's slightly improving. What else do we get? Oh, speaking of vintage hardware, 
I got this bag of porcelain knobs for like a, I don't know, like an old cabinet or something. We've got a bunch of round ones in there. And then we've also got ones that are like handles. They have Japan on them and I don't know. Oh, this one has it right here. Let's see if I can get it to focus for you all. There it is. It says Japan on the back. So these could be from any era. They could be from the 60s or the 70s or possibly, I don't know. But yeah, there's a bunch of them in here and I can't remember exactly how many we've got. So I think we've got six of these of the handle handles. What did Jeffrey say? I got to read that. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not really going to stop him from doing what he likes to do. Unfortunately, gaming is his thing, so and it's the only thing he really does. Just like thrifting is just is the thing I like to do. Anyway, overall, all right, Nicole, thanks for stopping in, and thank you for your super chat. Some of them do look like this, where they may have to be cleaned but they are overall in good shape. They might have some crazing or some chipping on them too from age. You're getting a lot in here. Let me show you the whole bag. Take the price tag off first. So this is the whole bag here. And I think when I bought them, there were a couple that were broken and I pulled them out. And you've also got the nails and everything for them for whatever piece of furniture you're gonna use them on. So this bag of vintage ceramic hardware is going to be $14 and it is number 68. Number 68 is $14. A lot of good material and potential with these. All right. Another 60s, 70s bicentennial piece happens to be this vintage letter holder. Look at the lettering and the font of everything that's on here. It's in really good shape. There is some peeling to the material. I think this might be a cardboard or something or covered cardboard. So I think this is really cool. And this is going to be $6, number 97. Number 97 is going to be six bucks. Be great for like a office or maybe even like a library or even your countertop. All right, take the tag off this next one. So these are really, really fun. They're candle holders. Based on the color of them, I would definitely say they are from the 60s or the 70s. They do have issues, including like dents and melt marks all over the spikes of them. Again, that is just due to age. And they also have like some rusting on the inside where the candles go. And the plastic on the bottom one here is like almost completely gone. This one is okay, but it does have a crack on them. Nicole, they might be amberina colored. They're like a deeper orange kind of a thing. So these, I, um, in the condition they sit, Show you the bottoms too. It is $20 for this candlestick set. So it is number 72 and it is $20 for the set. Yeah, Halloween colors, exactly. They're very fun and funky. I definitely think that's probably what attracted me to them when I bought them. Spiky, I'm trying to think of what they look like. Something fun. They would have probably been better if they had a bowl to go with them and they kind of like go on the sides on the table. The Demogorgon. 
And so those are cool. So 20 bucks for the set of those. Number 72. All righty. So any 80s babies out there probably remember when this came out, like in a movie. I found this. I think this was at an antique shop. It's just a handmade, um, like, little girl's, like, fabric purse kind of a thing. It opens up, and a girl could put, like, her, I don't know, her money in there. I don't know if this was a craft or if this was just something somebody made out of uh, fabric that they bought at the craft store back in the day. So we all know that Little Orphan Annie came out in the 30s. And I think this was helping promote the 1981 movie, Annie. So this is just a little fun bag. Number 72, Mignon, was the acrylic. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. It's like a heavy plastic candlestick. Yeah, they're not glass. They're just acrylic, like a hard plastic. So this little fun drawstring purse, you can either have it make it one shoulder length or you could carry it like this, like it was a little bag. So this is going to be $10 and it is number 53. Number 53 is going to be $10. And I don't see any major problems with it. I don't see any rips or tears in the fabric, and there are no uh, stains as far as I'm concerned with it. And the image is really nice. So yeah, we got that. I showed this in my last video. This is a... Mallard duck sun catcher. And it was in my last video, and I had not sold it, so I'm resharing it with you all in here. Hi, Kim. Now, I did have $3 on it. I will go ahead, and it's going to be $2 now, number 29. So, number 29 will be $2 for the Mallard duck sun catcher. No broken pieces to it, as far as I know. There might be some places where you need to clean it a little bit, but it's still a really nice piece. Oh, this is really cool. I forgot I had these for a while. They will need to be reattached, but it is a very fun item. They do say Japan on them. It is a animal chain, like chain animals. <laughs> oh God. So it is the, I think this is called earthenware um, pottery or like earthenware um, clay. So we've got the two kittens and they are detached from the mom and we've got the mama cat and we've got the daddy cat. Redware, that's what it is, Jeffrey. I don't know why I was thinking earthenware. So yeah, this is redware, kitten, cat family set. No real cosmetic issues to the best of my knowledge. It does say Japan on the bottom. Now oh, there's a little, I don't know if that's, there's a little chip on the mama's um, um, paw right there. That could have been a manufacturer flaw, or that could have been something that happened over the years. So they're really, really cute. The price for that set is going to be $18, and it's number 87. So number 87 is $18 for the... Kitty Cat Family Chain Set. Of 
Put those safely back in the bin. Okay. So this again is another item that was in my last sale and I went ahead and just decided to include it. It's that Fashions of 1776 doll in the box, dressed like it's, of course, the 1770s. It is originally from Kmart, made by the Crest G Company in Troy, Michigan. She would be great for 4th of July or maybe even like Labor Day or Memorial Day. Only real issue with her is the fact that I think this is where the price was at one point. And the box, of course, is going to have wear to it being 44 years old. So this is going to be $10, and it is number 76. Number 76 is going to be 10 bucks for this little girl here. Hi, Empty Nesting. Thanks for stopping by. All right. Hopefully I don't pull off some of the box paint on here. So this was something I bought from an antique booth vendor that was going out of business and they basically were pricing stuff so <laughs> cheap that it was hard to resist. So this is a game from the 1980s. It's by Parker Brothers. It's called the Touching Tunes Care Bears Magical Musical Game. I assume pretty much everything is here. We've got a whole stack of cards. And then we've got the game board. I don't think I tested it at all, so I'm selling it as is. Here's the game board. And then there's these... There are only a few of these in here. Oh, it's from 1984. So these, again, it's just being sold as is because I don't know anything about it. What did I have on it? But I think it would just be fun for nostalgia for anybody who grew up in the 80s. So I'm selling this game as is with the box rough and water damage and everything for eight bucks and it is number 26. Number 26 is Chaos. I don't know if it's like Operation Misty. I've never seen anything like it before. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Any 80s babies, definitely this would be a great piece for you. What else do I got in here? Oh yeah, I've got another gift set here that I think, again, would make a great late Mother's Day gift. So this is, I think this is something that came from Kohl's or something like that. It's Vera Wang Embrace. So in this set, you get some body mist, you get a thing of body lotion, and you also get shower gel. The scent for this is called Green Tea and Pear Blossom. Packaging is pretty rough. There's bends and like creases all over the place. I did let my mom smell it to see if she liked it and she said it just wasn't for her. But if you like this scent, this would be great for you or great for somebody who does like this scent. So this gift set, Vera Wang Embrace is $15 and it is number 81. Number 81 is $15. What does it smell like? It's, I don't know. I guess the best way to describe it is, um, I don't know. I can't, I can't really describe it. I think if my mom had her um, phone watching this, she'd be able to tell you what it was like because we let her smell it. But it's kind of, I don't know. But yeah, if you've um, worn this stuff before, well, mom smelled it before, dad. What did, have, ask mom what she said it smelled like. 
because I, I want everyone to know. Type it in for me in that comments because I don't know. Because I I couldn't describe it. It was kind of like a strong perfumey smell. That's about as best as I could do. Well, this is what it looks like. We'll come back to it if we have to. Okay. So, don't hate me. I do have some clothing that I would like to... Okay, Nana is not specific enough. Everybody's grandmother liked different perfumes, even though it was kind of old lady. <laughs> Mignon, you don't like it either. It's yucky. Well, I took a chance with it. Okay. So I do have some clothing items. Don't hate me. I've had these for a while, and I just want to move them. So summer is coming, so I know we definitely can use some of these things. They are men's, but I think women could definitely use them, too. Uh, they are new with tags. I bought them at Kohl's last year for like 90% off. So this is a 2X Adidas um, tank top. I think they call this color scarlet and black. This is in 2X. I don't know if it's going to show. 2X retailed at $25. For you all, it's going to be... Oh, I did tag it, didn't I? I know I did. So it's going to be $10 for the brand new 2X Adidas tank top, number 96, $10. And if these don't sell, we'll have to figure out something. Okay, perfect. All right, so I've got some other pieces too. All right, so this one is an Under Armour, size small. It says USA, USA, so I assume these were probably put out at like Memorial Day. I think they would be great for Memorial Day or even for Labor Day. So this one also has a retail for $25, and it is going to be $10 as well, number 68. This is a size small. It'll focus. Smaller sizes typically are harder to move, but I think they will sell. So again, this one is also $10, and it is number 68. I promise you I don't have more clothing to sell. I, I hate selling clothes, but... Do what I got to do right with what I got. So if you're out gardening or if you like working out or if you just like to exercise, this would be great for you. All right. So I've got another set of women's pants. These are brand new with the tags again. So this one... It's athletic pants. They are a size medium. And these are the Nike Storm Fit. Yep, Nike Storm Fit. Retailed at a crazy high price of $65. I am selling them for $20, number 60. Size medium, number 60 at $20. the number again so if any of you are interested that's what you type in number 60 is twenty dollars oh lord okay so this again it is a smaller size i think these are just like athletic undergarments <laughs> again bought them these are men's but i'm sure women could wear them too they are training undergarments, brand new with the tags, retailed at $28. I'm selling them to you all for, I have them for 12, but I will do 10 bucks, number 20. Number 20 is $10. These are a size small, men's small. I wish it would focus. So 
So here is another there's something else that I forgot about, and it's probably down there. I'll have to go get it in just a second here. So I have a brand new DVD. It's got Hollywood Tough Guys. It was released by AMC. It's movies with Humphrey Bogart, Edward G. Robinson, George Raft, and John Garfield. Let me pull the tag off of here. So here it is. It is brand new and sealed. So you get four DVDs, or four movies, sorry. Brand new and sealed for $5. Number 65 is $5. Oh, the movies I forgot to mention. Beat the Devil was Humphrey Bogart's. Thunder in the City was Edward G. Robinson's film. Outpost in Morocco, George Raft. And then They Made Me a Criminal, and John Garfield's was John Garfield's movie. Yeah, I can agree with the uh, the mothball smell. Don't like it. But yeah, this is number 65, and it is $5. If you just want to have a night where you can watch movies, this is perfect for you. Uh, Beat the Devil has Gina Lola Brigida in it. Edward G. Robinson's um, Thunder in the City has Nigel Bruce. Hey, Scott, we've got George Rath's uh, In Post to Morocco has Marie Windsor in it. And then John Garfield's They Made Me a Criminal has Claude Rains in it. I'll tell you all, I don't like bees. I don't like any bug that buzzes. I don't like snakes, especially if they sneak up on me. Spiders, not crazy about them either. Okay. Is it in this box here? Or is this the, what's the, okay. All right, so we've got this. This was also in my last sale. It is a conch shell lights, and it has a lucite base. Um, it does work. I did test it. The conch shell, I think, is broken on the top due to age, which is normal. And yeah, it's just a really neat piece. It'd be, it would look great in a bathroom or like a, on top of a TV. I think that might be what this is. It might be a TV lamp. And I did have it originally for $20, but I'm going to go ahead and drop it down to $15, number 38. I just want to get rid of this thing. I've had it forever. So it is $15, number 38. So that's what you get for the 15 bucks. I don't like strongly hate bees. I just don't like when they get in my face or when they sting. I, I mean, I will say in my past, I didn't get stung and I'm hoping to not get stung in the future. And I don't ever want to know what it feels like. Although it probably would be good to see if I'm allergic or not. I think my grandmother was. I think Nana, Nana Balzer was allergic to bees and she had to have an EpiPen with her. Okay, let me see if I have, because there's one other item that I could have sworn was in this pile of stuff that I shared, but nope. I, let me, I'll be right back. Hopefully I don't knock anything over. I think it's in this box right here. Aha, I knew there was something I forgot. Oh, I need the box for it. I'm gonna squeeze back in here. I don't want my camera to go out. This technology sucks when it doesn't work. Could have sworn I had this over here, but I guess I didn't. Okay. All righty. So, second to last item here. If you all missed the last Pyrex butter dish I had, I had another one. It's just in a different pattern. So this one is the Crazy Daisy or butter, I was about to say butterfly gold, Crazy Daisy or spring blossom dish. Here's the bottom. And then we've got the Pyrex uh, stamped on the bottom there. 
So again, this is the Spring Blossom or Crazy Daisy Butter Dish. So this is going to be $15 and it's number 14. So number 14 is $15. Again, it's in really good shape. No cracks or chips. Take care, Nate. It was nice having you here. The colors are in pretty good shape. Paint overall looks really, really good. So, yeah, this is a really nice piece. I know someone out there is looking to have this in their collection. And, yeah, so $15, number 14. All righty. <laughs> so I think that is everything. I think, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> So I'm assuming everything that I had is what I showed you all. So I think that is all of the stuff that I have to share with you all for this sale. So just remember to go ahead and send me an email, skullking95680 at yahoo.com. It is going to be in the description box below. I think it's all there now. I think I pre put it in. So that was real fun. If you like this video, be sure and thumbs up it and leave a comment below if there's something that you saw that you that did not sell, or you can also email me and ask me about the status of an item. So I will see you all soon, and hopefully we'll get to do another one of these next week. Take care all, and I will see you all soon. Bye, guys.